Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Today is the day. What day do you ask? It's the day we're doing the body scan. Also, the first thing I woke up to this morning was a comment um, on the last video I posted that said, um, bad view and bad show. <laughs> I'm trying. I know, I know. I watch other YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber, like, fanatic. I love YouTube. Anyways. They're so much better. Anyways, back to what we're here for. We are going to do our like little, it's been a month that I have been on this like diet exercise regime. Um, and so I'm going to go take my body scan today. I'm a little nervous because I went on vacay for the last two days. <laughs> um, and your girl definitely enjoyed some chips and salsa and a milk and cookie from this like one shop, which, oh my gosh, I didn't even film that for you guys. <gasps> it was the best milk and cookie I literally have ever had in my entire life. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad I didn't film that for you guys. Oh my God, I do put on a bad show. That was probably the most important part of the whole trip. Anyways, um, I'll have to take you guys back. Um, so yeah, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> But I know that overall, I've been doing really good. I have changed a lot with my day-to-day -day, like eating habits and my exercising habits. I've been back in the gym full time. I'm feeling better, I'm more energized. Um, my skin has cleared up. My clothes are undoubtedly fitting better. Um, like these used to be so tight on me and now they fit very comfortably. So I know I have made progress. So I'm very, very, very scared of getting on that scale today and doing the scan because I don't want it to discourage me because one, there's a possibility that your girl's still gonna be bloated from, you know, my trippy trip. And that's okay because I deserve, you know, I was definitely balanced on this trip. It was definitely one of my better trips I've taken and I didn't go all out, you know. Um, I was definitely more well behaved on this trip than prior trips and I'm very proud of myself for that. So again, there's another positive change. Um, and I just really want to hyper focus on those changes just in case that like the scale isn't exactly what I'm anticipating, which I, yeah, I just, I don't want to get too wrapped up into that because that's always been my problem in the past. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's, let's do a little before and after. So that's kind of where we're at. That's what we're looking like. Um, so I am, so the last time I did my body scan, I just so happened to have not eaten anything and worked out beforehand because I did my morning cardio. Um, so I'm going to do that same exact thing. Therefore, that way, like it's as accurate as it can be. Um, and then I will sit down with you guys and then I will go through the changes that I have experienced um, in that result, good or bad. Um, and then I will go over what I'm planning on changing to um, improve, you know, and to better reach my goals um, once I do get that like data information. So yeah, wish me like you guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, you guys, I keep it very honest. So I ended up weighing myself and I had a little bit of a mental breakdown. A little bit of a mental breakdown because I weighed myself before my trip and I knew my weight and then after my trip I've gained around two pounds which I didn't actually gain two pounds and I know that but because of how much anxiety I was having going into this test knowing that like I was gonna weigh heavier than I actually do due to the fact that I have been on vacation and I did enjoy myself um I decided I'm not gonna take it today <laughs> Need for my mental health um and i am just gonna get on track today and tomorrow and then i'm going to take the test on sunday um and and yeah and i'm not going to extreme diet i'm not gonna like do anything crazy i'm just gonna get back on to my normal eating and my normal workout regimen um instead of taking a test like right out of vacation it wasn't the smartest idea um and then even if it's not what i am expecting uh, um, I just at least won't feel that, like, it's unfair because of my vacation and whatever. Um, and yeah, it's just better for my mental health. And this whole fitness journey has been to change my lifestyle and 
get me in a better place physically and mentally, uh, spiritually, like all of that stuff. And if I can't do it and it's going to cause me more harm than good and literally scheduling it two days from now is going to make me feel so much better, then I should just schedule it two days from now, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. <laughs> So I am going to go work out right now. I'm going to do my eating whatever for the next two days. And then I will come back to you guys on Sunday with the updated results um, in the before and after. And hopefully it'll be a little bit more accurate because I'm not coming out right from a vacation. So anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys on Sunday. <laughs> now it's a body scan day for real this time. It is Sunday. Um, whew. If you can't tell, I've been working out. I woke up and I did some fasted cardio because that's what I did the day of the scan. Um, originally, and the best way to do the scans, obviously, is try to mimic them as close as possible. So I just did some, yeah, some cardio for about 30 minutes, nothing too crazy. Um, this is what I'm looking like. I'm definitely leaner than a couple days ago. I think you can definitely tell that like the flotation has gone down a little bit. Also, I'm sorry, I know I'm doing my laundry. Um, so yeah, anyways, I am going to shower and then get headed to the gym and then I'll sit down and I'll go over my body scan results with you guys and what I've been doing um, and like the major difference. But yeah, this is, uh, this is basically the finished product after four weeks. If I can figure out how to do like a side by side, I'll, I'll do a side by side, but I literally, I have no idea how to go about that. Um, so yeah. Let's hope for good news. Also, I have not weighed myself since I weighed myself that one day. Um, I was thinking about it. I have my scale right here, but I don't know if I should or not. Cause I don't want to like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll cave. Maybe I'll cave. I don't know. But anyways, I will see you guys after the body scan. You guys, we are back from the body scan. And if you can tell by my mood, I, your girl is pretty happy. Your girl is pretty happy. So anyways, let's get straight to it. So my goal just to review, um, were to basically, I want an overall change in my lifestyle that I pretty much had pre-cancer but healthier because prior to that I really prioritized uh, aesthetic health and although I do think that you can you know strive for aesthetic goals while still being healthy I was not at the time so my goal was balance along with re reaching some of my aesthetic goals I'm very honest about that I want Manhattan to have an upper upper side okay so I want I want to get that glute like you know nice and round whatever so I wanted to up my muscle mass decrease my body fat um, I wanted to overall eat healthier, prioritize nutrition, lower my stress level, get better sleep. Um, and then I am also a big proponent that working out is like really detrimental to people's mental health, uh, that and like a diet. And especially to me in my experience, uh, working out has been the only thing to ever like get me out of a depression or anything like that. Um, I got diagnosed with bipolar depression, like bipolar type two, whatever, um, years ago and I've tried medication and all that stuff and the only thing that ever worked was a little bit of therapy and a lot of changing my lifestyle working out um the food I ate and things like that has only the only thing that ever worked medication never worked just therapy by itself never worked I had to have a combination of working out eating right um and therapy so i am really excited to share with you guys how i've done so far it has been four weeks i have two months left of this like three month plan but i keep telling you guys i will most likely extend it that's just like what i felt comfortable starting off with because i didn't want to create a goal that was too that i felt like too, was too big for me you know i wanted to just be like okay just commit to three months and then see how you feel but i'm loving it already so the very first week I struggled a lot. It was very hard. I was eating, I, I, God knows what. It was just so sporadic. I had no structure. I was not getting my protein. 
nothing like that it was it was just a hot mess i had i just had no structure with the way i was eating sometimes i ate 3000 calories sometimes i ate 1000 calories i basically had no protein in my diet um and so yeah the first week really sucked <laughs> um but then i started to eat around 130 grams of protein by the second week um and then i was on around 2000 to 2000 to 200 2000 to 2200 sorry calories with a macro breakdown of a hundred um and like 30 grams of protein a hundred and ten grams of carbs and then like 50 to 60 grams of, of fat somewhere around that um and by the third week i had upped my protein to being around 150 to 160 and by this last final week i have upped it to around 170 grams of protein so my diet has drastically changed um, I have also decreased my calories to 2000. Um, well, that'll be going forward. Um, but that's basically where I've been at for the last month, 2000 to 2200 basically calories. I would say I landed mostly towards the 2200 calorie mark. Um, six days a week in the gym, three of them being resistance, two of them being very heavy cardio days, one of them being an active cardio day. Um, I did not do that the first two weeks. The first two weeks, I only did five workouts. So the last two weeks, I have added the um, active cardio day in. And then moving forward, um, I will be doing 200, I'm sorry, 2000 calories, 170 grams of protein. Um, I will be keeping around the same carb and fat ratio that I was before. Um, I will be trying to lower the fat just because for me, myself, and I, I want to do that. I think fat, like really heavy fatty foods tends to break out my skin. Um, so I want to try to decrease that a little bit, but that's more just like for me. Um, and then I will also be upping my resistance training to four days a week and two days of intense cardio. Um, right? Four, five, six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Four days a week, two days of intense cardio. Um, or well, I guess the last one can still be an active rest day, but I'll be honest with myself. I'll probably try to do some sort of more intense, uh, cardio. And then I will also be trying to tack on around 15 to 30 minutes of, uh, car some sort of cardiovascular exercise, along with those days of resistance training. Now, please, I would just like to acknowledge the fact that I am in a situation in which I have the time in finances and to be able to do this. This is not gonna be something that is suitable for everybody or even capable for everybody. I am very fortunate and very lucky and, and very thankful and grateful um, and privileged to have a job in which allows me the, again, time and money. Um, to work out in this way. Not everybody has an hour and a half every single day that they can dedicate to the gym. Um, not everybody has an hour and a half that they can dedicate six days a week to the gym. So if you're on this journey as well and you can't do exactly what I am doing, please do not feel bad about yourself. Everybody else is at a different point in their life. Everybody, this is not has not always been my life. I have not always been able to have the time and the money to do this stuff. Uh, it is capable, you are capable of doing it, um, you know, with the time restrictions and things like that. It just might not look the same as mine. And it, I think it's important to acknowledge that because a lot of people's health journey won't necessarily look like this, especially if you are, you know, a nine to five worker or you have kids or something like that, you know, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Again, it's not not doable. Um, but it is just something I just want to acknowledge because I used to compare myself a lot to people online talking about their health journeys. Um, and I would feel bad about myself because I couldn't go two times a day or I couldn't stay at a gym for an hour and a half to two hours uh, because I was working two jobs. And so it just is going to, you know, everybody's journey is going to look a little bit different. But anyways, so that'll be what I'm moving into. Um, and we will be training up the, res we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll be changing up the resistance training. I've been doing the exact same upper body and lower body exercises for the last four weeks. So we're going to be changing that up. Um, but yeah, so anyways, let's get into the results. Um, I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So first let's talk about my weight. So I started at 177.5 pounds. And I am now at 173.1. Oh 
so happy with that. Now, there might be people out there be like, oh my God, that's not that much. It's exactly on par with where I want to be. That's about a week or about a pound per week, which is perfect. And then my, this is my favorite part. My muscle mass went up um, 0.2%. So like, you know, just a little bit, but I'll take it. It was at 61.5 and now it's at 61.7. So with not like being super good with my protein for the first two weeks and like really having to change a lot of my diet because I did not realize how little protein I was getting in. I am super, super ecstatic about this. And I will be keeping, like I said, that 170 grams of protein a day for the next four weeks. So I should see an even larger increase next month as long as I stay consistent. So I'm very happy about that. And then I dropped a percent down in my body fat and I'm so happy. So it went from 37.3 to six, or sorry, 36.1. So I am super ecstatic about these numbers. They're very maintainable. I was talking to my trainer and I was like, look, my favorite part has been like, it hasn't felt like I'm making these like big old sacrifices or I'm on this crazy diet. Like you guys can see my Instagram on my Instagram. I post a lot of my food. Um, I will be sharing more of my recipes here because I've been falling in love with cooking, but I eat a lot. Your girl has pasta. I have sushi. I have cookies. I have and do enjoy like my life but i also try to balance it out now i will be trying to remove a couple you know other like little snacks and treats and whatever for my diet that i don't really think i necessarily need um but i am really big on balance i also am a foodie like i love food your girl will always be thick that will never change because i love food um and that's something i'm not willing to sacrifice i just have found other ways to eat it or cook it to make it healthier um or alternatives and and things like that and that's been like my biggest proponent of this is I don't want to like go on this huge diet I really want like just a lifestyle change a lifestyle overhaul which then leads me to like my next like update of well how is my happiness level since I started this it has gone up dramatically dramatically I felt like I was in a really stagnant spot in my life I was not happy with the way I was looking I was not happy with my diet I was not, I was sleeping in. I wasn't waking up on time. I was so stressed because I had so much going on. I like, but I was, I think I was not handling the stress the best. Like, yes, I had things to stress over, but I just think I was in such a negative place that like, it just wasn't like, I wasn't making it any better for myself. Um, and so I have been waking up earlier. I've been cooking every single meal basically, and I've been loving it. It hasn't felt like a chore. Like it's been something that I've looked forward to. My energy level has increased dramatically. I used to be so tired throughout the day or feel like I needed like an exorbitant amount of coffee to get through the day. I'm not feeling that way anymore. My sleep has improved. Please ignore my under eyes right now. I had an allergy attack the other day. Plus, I didn't sleep the best last night, but that's not my fault. They had fireworks going off, so it's not... It wasn't had anything to do with me. It was because people had stupid fireworks going off. But, um, so my sleep has improved. My stress level has gone down. Um, I've been just feeling more grounded. I've been feeling just, like, overall just happier and lighter and just I have more energy my house has been cleaner like just so much goodness has come from this and so I'm so excited to see how this next month goes I'm so excited to take you guys with me to continue this but these results were definitely on point with where I want to be it's slow it's steady though it's progress every single day um and I'm not killing myself I'm not starving myself I'm not like doing anything negative to my body or anything like that and so it's all very 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 positive and so I am so so happy um uh, but this video has turned into a longer video uh, so I will be saying goodbye to you guys now um but I am excited to share more recipes with you guys uh, maybe eventually I can convince my trainer to let me film one of my workouts and I can kind of show you guys what I'm doing in the gym um so you guys can get a booty like Manhattan too anyways I love you guys you guys are little slivers of perfection in this universe and thank you for being here and thank you for being my friends Thank <sniffs> you.